Hello my besties and amaras, welcome back to another episode of Painting with TSMA Pagalia and you are watching the official YouTube channel of the Sexy Music Assassins Alright, and if you're new watching this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share and comment below As you can see, we already painted the background with a lot of blue hues and green hues these are acrylic paint okay so when we do our skies and the foreground of this painting we use the acrylic all right so this is the background of a sky and plants like it's in a field or a farm or garden so as you can see we already used the creative inspirations all right and the artist loft so my besties and amores all right so have you ever wonder wondered about your surroundings you see when you see your neighbor all right you can see a lot of cars but they are different different means to say the brand the colors you know and you can see also that the houses in your neighborhood okay and of course they're also different you see as everyone's garden all right is also different so is everyone's life so we all each have a time and a place in which to create whatever we, we want all right our special stuff or style to be so to plant a garden or anything you know is to believe in the future we said future because when you plant a garden you are actually like creating another life and you are adding it to the mother mother earth so each garden has different soils you know you can see sometimes it's very rocky you know some are sandy some you know is just poor very very poor in quality which needs a lot of work to make it ready to plant your favorite vegetables or trees you know while others have rich and very fertile soil that needs very little attention so you will come into a decision on what type of garden we want you know metamorphically uh, speaking garden or planting or gardening is metamorphically asso associated with life you know because the plants that we choose to grow in our garden will de determine you know the type of garden it will become so will it be like a flower garden vegetable garden you know then these plants need to be watered we weeded and also fertilized to produce a healthy healthy garden you see the work and the effort we put into our garden just like in this painting you know determines the beauty and the reward that we will harvest so like the garden plot we all have come from different walks of life you know others uh, seems to have an easier path to follow you know but some needs special care they need good soil we all need soil for our lifestyle so we need to nurture also 
our nutrition, our health with exercise, you know. So, the things we want to achieve are like seeds. They need to be planted with care and the the seeds that we will plant today will be developed later in the future and become what we will receive later just like with what they said what you reap and what you reap is what you sow what you sow is what you reap so it is in our lives so if we allow negative people you know the negative vibes the thoughts to develop and then the hopes and the dreams are slowly hidden from view so let me tell you my besties and amores be mindful of who you allow to tend your garden be mindful of who you allow in your lives you know as the wrong people can plant the wrong seeds then your garden of life will not be what you want will not be what you had wanted it to become so remember this is also true of our lives you know if we if we allow ourselves to be influenced by these wrong people then it can take away our dreams and hopes for our future so we are in charge of our gardens so we must be in charge of our lives sometimes we planted in our garden you know last year is not what we want this season so and this is often through you know as circumstances in our life changes just like now we have pandemic so we see things differently so we need to be we need to have an open mind we need to be open-minded people you know through these dramatic changes that's happening in our lives as of the moment with this pandemic you know so this is how we grow and become that special person we were meant to be you know just like when we were a kid you know our mind is a garden our thoughts are the little seeds so we can grow flowers or we can grow weeds so there are really many different gardens so each having their own purpose you know producing their own fruits so it is with us we all have different purposes in lives in our life so each of us create that lifestyle that we are willing to work towards you know life without dreams is like a garden without flowers it'll be boring you know so let us each create a future that will make our world this world of ours a better place for all okay So as you can see, our painting, all right, we are making or putting all these lips slowly, you know, just like this garden, you know, we tend it with care. So let's all be good stewards to the gift of life that has given unto you like every one of you every one of us is infinitely precious you know most of you do not feel this but you know life the life each of you or, or each of one of us each one of us possesses is like this painting we are we are given a little piece of ground to work with just like on this canvas you know no two gardens are alike no two paintings are alike 
So each one comes with different soil, different paintings, different um, acrylics, you know, or oils, different seeds, different climate, you know, different artists. So every garden has the potential to be very beautiful, just like this painting. So seeds, you know, must be planted and watered. Weeds must be pulled. You know, you must shine light on your garden, like this painting. And make sure that is it is loved and nurtured. You make sure that you are giving your all when you're painting, your passion, you know. You know, every human life is like this, you know. There are no, no two paintings are alike. Yet it is universally true for all gardens that they increase in health and beauty proportionate to the love and care that is given to them. So, you know, each of us is a garden, you know. No matter how you were parented, this canvas or this garden is all yours now. Maybe now it's a bit dry and weedy. Maybe it could do with some watering and tending. So the point is, work with what you have right now at this very moment. You know, there's really no use wishing you had a different garden or a different canvas. You know, this is the one that is yours. It's given by God, you know. So... Let's all be good stewards to our garden. Let's take care of our bodies, you know. Me, I have to lecture myself. <laughs> Personally, I have diabetes. And if you're living here in Alaska, it's really hard to exercise, especially with this pandemic, you know. And it's the climate is really, really cold and plus asthma. It's really hard, you know. But let me tell you what, please exercise, you know. Feed your body with nourishing food. Rest, rest and relax. I should tell that to myself, but, you know, the body houses the mind too. It is the soil in which the mind rest so if we all want our minds to flourish so it is good to start with the body the body first so like the seeds will not grow if the soil is too dry and hard so tending the body is like moistening and cultivating the soil you know so these are your seeds so some some of us may already be planted you know some some you may have yet to plant but if you wish these seeds to grow into a more and more stronger plants or trees then you must tend the soil well so i remember when i was a kid you know i always um like pick up the manure of the chickens, the cows, and my grandma always tell me, you know, to help her pick up all the manure of the pigs, let it dry, and then we actually mix that with the soil, and that will serve as the fertilizer, you know. So it is essential to be loving and nurturing your plants you know as well as yourself so every one of us you know knows that there is a great deal of love the care you know that goes into a beautiful beautiful painting or garden so do not expect to transform your garden at all everything at once, you know, you can't tell the trees to grow uh, mangoes right away or whatever, you know. So, do not become paralyzed or 
heartbroken because it seems like too big a task. So, you know, just start somewhere. Start somewhere. And take one little corner of the garden and work with that, you know. And also, you don't have to, like, pour all the seeds, different seeds in one soil, you know. All beautiful things are created little by little, piece by piece. So they do not appear all at once or else it will be chaotic and the plants will die. So the main thing is just to do a little bit every day. Nurture it, cultivate it, just like on this painting right now. So in this way, you know, all seeds sprout. So water it and then like little every day light and good soil tend yourself like garden be good stewards of the gift of life okay it's really really cold here right now so so cold All right, so these are the heavy textured acrylic. All right. It's really, really, really cold. So, you know, both the abundance, you know, and the lack of it in life, it exists simultaneously, you know, like paral parallel realities in life, you know, our con conscious choice which secret garden will be tend you know we choose not to focus on what is missing from our lives but we should be grateful you know for the abundance that's present our families work our good health love just everything the excitement when you wake up the joy, you know, joys of nature, the pursuits of happiness that brings us, you know. If we only understand the laws of nature and how to care for plant, you know, the trees, then we can create and cultivate the gardens that are overflowing with the abundance of vegetables, flowers. You know, if we understand the laws of life, then we can use those laws to our own advantage, my besties and amores. You know, we cultivate a life, nurture it, preserve it, you know, take good, good care of it. That is overflowing with an abundance of life and its purpose. You know, our lives seem to follow a pattern of growth like on this painting. You know, it's similar to planting trees, you know. We move from the isolation of self-centeredness, you know, like in a seed self-centeredness of a childhood to a veritable three plants you know of life like an individual who gives their life for their families you know if our garden is well planted or in, 
it, it's like in this painting, you know. We have food to share with others. Just like on this painting, we have a masterpiece that we can share to all our watchers, our subscribers. By the way, thank you so much to all our 20,000 subscribers. You are all amazing. And we appreciate you all. Alright. And now I am putting a lavender color. Alright. You can add any shapes of flowers or whatever flowers you want. If you are painting along with me. Alright. You know what, oftentimes the richness within the gardens of our lives is really less dependent upon what nature, you know, or circumstances does to it and more dependent on we do it. You know, like if we, we will like strive hard, you know, grind, kind of like when you're doing your vlogs and sometimes we we face some um, challenges in life and then and then later on you're so frustrated that you've been vlogging for like seven years or so and it seems like no one's watching you or you don't get that many subscribers you know like other people you know i please let me tell you what just just don't focus on that but focus on being a better vlogger all right and you know just do everything you can and leave it all to god that as god will do it all right you know, consider the saddest and the most difficult times in our lives. Just like in this pandemic, you know, just like me, my family lost a lot of our loved ones from this pandemic and also from cancer, you know. You know, when human connections are damaged or lost, you know, we feel so depressed and when we are misunderstood, when we are hurt or separated from others because of this pandemic, you know, we get depressed and during these times of depression or loneliness, we may feel as though we are experiencing like a winter, you know, in our souls and it's so depressing. You know, on the other hand, the summers in our lives, you know, are the joyful times we share with others. You know, with all of the richness and the uniqueness of their own lives, you know, what makes our lives full, happy, or vibrant, you know. All right. You know, you have to have a vision and you have to dream big, you know, because you might get stuck just doing those little jobs, you know. So, you really have to dream big. It's easy to get stuck if you don't have a vision as to where you want to go, you know, and how you want to get there. So, working toward your dreams makes all the hard work worth it. You know, I always believe that, like when... I first arrived here from the Philippines. I already manifested and I told myself someday I will buy 
BMW and I will buy a big house but then when just how many years pass after that I just manifested that then the Lord gave us a lot not only one but a lot and a lot of houses you know you you have to be like willing to plant the seeds and plant the plants a lot of people really may not garden they may not paint you know but if you do you know that it's up to you to plant the seeds and plant the plants you really have to dig a hole stick them in you know the seeds and do all sorts of watering bending squatting all physical you know also inviting into your yard a whole bunch of new things and they will surprise you you know surprises of all sorts <laughs> it's like life and that if you don't do that work, you know, bringing new things into your life, being open to surprises, trying new things, you know, nothing will grow, not even you. So I recommend that each and everyone should have patience. You really can't force a seed to grow faster than the nature intended intended to you know or get someone to do something when they are not r quite ready so you've got to wait patience is the key all right so the weathers like that the people that annoys you your friends or family members you know you have to learn how to deal with them or the things, you know, that are totally out of control. You know, because you can't really control those. But you have to deal with that. You have to. You need other skills, you know, such as how to build a fire, to cook your food, etc. You know, be resourceful and use whatever you have you know and also you have to clean up after yourself you know mess is stress and you have to keep things organized tidy them you know because if you don't then you bear the consequences whether it's depression or just that people don't want you around anymore stuff like that so and also if you don't do the work you don't eat you know what i'm saying so you know whether the work is actually preparing something you know so that you can afford to buy food or your clothes etc you know what i'm saying so you can do it alone but it's so much easier if you can do it with others you know your hubby your kids so the reality is there will almost always be a time when you need someone's help so ask for help when you need it so it's always always good to be thankful also you know life are miracles you know being thankful to god adds so so much richness and love to your life you know that's why you know wouldn't you do it so you know it's really not hard it's free anyway so and sometimes you have to let things go if it's bad you know if a tree falls down in a storm or in a storm of life etc if you have weeds that grows or branches or animals you know that grew 
in between the spaces of the plants, then you have to have to make a hard decision. And you have to be firm in saying goodbye sometimes. You know, it's kind of like when your friend or a family member is toxic and nothing comes out from your friend's mouth but all negative vibes, negative words, you know, that's not really going to help you like prosper because what your friend is doing is that friend is put, putting you down or pulling you down with her. So, you know, you know, I've been really thinking about the concept of making room for new things and how sometimes that can happen unless you say goodbye to old things. You know, the rewards for gardening and living can't be measured in dollars. It's only about love. We do it for love. Love is the reward. So love is all that matters. So this is the final painting look. If you like this video tutorial, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. And also remember, the best reason to plant trees is for love. Love for family. Love for Mother Earth. Love of oxygen. Love of the beauty of nature. You know. That are so amazing and good places, you know, sometimes to sit and rest, you know. Alright, I love you all so much. Please take care and have a blessed day. I love you all. God bless. I will see you all next time, alright? And have a blessed, blessed day. Thank you so much so much for watching.